Hello and welcome back to Professional Tutors. So at Professional Tutors, we got a unique team of head of departments who came together to deliver quality education to our learners across the UK and the, and the worldwide. In today's lesson, we're looking at conduction. So we'll look at conduction in metals and conduction in non-metals. So first of all, let's discuss how do non-metals conduct thermal energy or heat energy. For example, uh, if you look at graphite, which is a non-metal, so when we heat one end of graphite, what's gonna happen, the carbon atoms near the heat source, they're gonna gain thermal energy and kinetic energy, and they're gonna start vibrating. When they start vibrating, they're gonna pass the thermal energy to the adjacent carbon atoms and so on along the rod. And that is how the heat is gonna transfer from one end of non-metal to another end of the non-metal. Now look, let's have a look at how the conduction takes place in metals. So in metals, that's the key word we need to focus on, something called delocalized electrons. Now metals, they have the sea of delocalized electrons, or, or better say, to make it easier, you can also say free electrons. So free electrons or delocalized electrons, same thing. So when it comes to metals, they've got a sea of delocalized electrons or free electrons, which are free to move. So when we heat the metal, these delocalized, these delocalized electrons, they gain kinetic energy and, and they move around. And that is how conduction takes place in metals. Now, one thing you need to note here that why do insulators don't conduct heat? And a simple answer for that, that they don't have free electrons or delocalized electrons, which are free to move, so they don't conduct electricity. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to stay connected for, for our future lessons.